Thank you, Cor. Phase 1B of vaccinations continuing this morning. This week we've seen a huge turnout at State Farm Stadium since the site opened up. And joining us to wrap up the week with how things are going, Dr. Kara Christ. Uh, thank you, Dr. Christ. You've been so generous with your time, and I know you have a lot going on. Oh, kind of a heavy overcoat today. It is chilly out there. I mean, look, you got you to keep yourself warm for sure. How are things going? It it, they're going well. So um, we're on day five of State Farm Stadium vaccination site. We're running through about 200 people an hour. Um, yesterday, for the first time in 24 hours, we hit over 7,100 vaccines. So we've exceeded our goals out here at State Farm, so we're very pleased. So uh, exceeding your goals, how is that happening? Is it just running more smoothly than you expected, or are we getting more efficient? What's going on? So every day we're finding some new ways to be more efficient. Um, and so we've been able to get people through relatively quickly. And then, you know, every once in a while, it's not a guarantee, but potentially if someone's in the car that may need one also, we might be able to give it to them. The clinical team makes that decision at the time, but we've really been trying to get as many Arizonans vaccinated at, as we can. And that bodes well for what's happening next week, because what we're seeing is a real broadening, right, of who can get this vaccine, who can sign up for it going 65 plus and a brand new pod that's opening up. Uh, how confident are you that we're going to see the same kind of smooth operation there that we have here? So we made this site so that it, we could recreate it at other sites. We have a playbook. ASU is one of our major partners out here at State Farm Stadium with the logistics and the resources. They are the ones that are going to be picking up um, for the Phoenix Municipal Stadium site. So we're pretty confident. Of course, these are huge lifts, and we always know the first time at a site, it's going to be a little bit rocky the first day or two, and then we get into our stride. So you hit us with some numbers. I believe it was yesterday or the day before. 700 and about 50,000 people now are going to be eligible to get the vaccine, which is a huge number of people. And, you know, you're doing 7,000 a day, but if you do the math on that, we're still looking at 100 days. That's, that's three months, correct? So uh, how soon are we going to be able to get through this 700,000 people and move on to the next phase? So we're expecting to get through um, phase 1B by mid to end of February and be transitioning into phase 1C. That's 750,000 that we added, which are 65 and older. That's our estimates based on the age population. But we know that some of those individuals may have fit into phase 1A or other parts of phase 1B. So, and not everyone, we, as much as I would love 100% of people to get vaccinated, not everyone is going to choose to be vaccinated at this time. Do you have any estimates, and yet that's an interesting point you just brought up, do you have any estimates so far as to what percentages of people, because we've seen now mostly our frontline healthcare workers, right? They've been able to get this for, what, three weeks, something like that, maybe a little bit more. What do you think the percentage is of our frontline healthcare workers who have actually gotten this vaccine? So when we were looking at the numbers of the already vaccinated last week, it looked like we had been through about 40% of our phase 1A. Um, we knew that a whole bunch of them still had appointments um, through the end of January. So we're anticipating about 55 to 60% when we're totally through phase 1A. Does that number seem low to you? It seems low to me. You know, it's, it's lower than what we would like, but we also know based on some of the community surveys with healthcare workers and the general population, about 55% of individuals said just upfront they would be happy to take this vaccine. And I think as we get more and more people vaccinated and people can see how safe and effective it is, we will continue to increase that number. Right. Our phase 1As never lose their place in line, so they are always eligible for vaccination. Mm. And maybe when the comfort level rises, as you're saying, as they start seeing friends and neighbors and colleagues and, and everything's going OK. All right. So, again, next week is our big ramp up. Uh, any advice for people out there right now who are 65 plus who are thinking, look, I, I want to get in there and I want to get this done. What should they do? So we're going to open registration Tuesday morning at 9 a.m. Um, what we would recommend is go in, register or get a family member to register for you so that your account is set up. We'll be. Um, working to make sure that there are appointments available on February 1st and on. The other thing that you can do is you can go to our website, azhealth.gov slash find vaccine. We will be also giving vaccine to pharmacies next week. There will be over 100 pharmacies mm -hmm. that will have doses of vaccine as well. Are you talking about CVS, Walgreens, places like that? 
I believe it's Fry's, Albertsons, and Safeway initially because Walgreens and CVS have been so invested in our long-term care and vaccinating them. And so they will be eventually become part of that, and we'll have over 800 pharmacies statewide that will have wow. vaccine. And so what you're saying is you'll go to that same portal, you'll make your appointment, but instead of making it at one of these super pods, you can make it at Fry's or one of those other grocery stores you mentioned. So if you go to the, the website, everyone who's using our portal, you'll be able to do that. With hmm. some of those um, entities, they may have their own, but we have the links to the registration sites for them. Dr. Christ, as always, thank you so much for what you're doing out there and uh, getting everybody vaccinated and getting the word out. And we'll check in with you maybe next week. It should be a big week for you guys. Sounds good. Thank you. Yeah, thank you.